Hi, everybody. This is Sean Guitar Hero coming to you live from my, well, my own personal studio. <laughs> somewhere in my local house somewhere. So anyway, it's pretty lively in my household tonight. Then I decided to go ahead and just lock myself away from everyone and have a good time with my toys. And I uh, hope you like it. Anyway, this is something different for me. And uh, I just want to show you... Um, I got a couple new toys that I've recently uh, uh, actually got it on my base pedal board. My base pedal my base pedal board consists of mainly uh, it has an MXR uh, M80 base DI, and of course it, it helps me buffers my sound a little bit. And then uh, in front of that, the first in the chain is going to be an MXR base compressor. But the latest thing that I bought, two latest things that I, I got recently was. I've tried the B9, I've tried the C9, I've tried the K9, I've tried the Mel9. For whatever reason, I decided to go with the Synth9. This is a lot of fun. So I have the Synth9 of Electroharmonics. And then I recently picked up uh, a Bell Epoch Tape Echo, courtesy of Caitlin Bread. I'm not familiar, really familiar with this brand, but I wind up picking up, I scoring up a really cool used version of it. So I'm going to use that to kind of add some texture to the Synth 9 as some trails. So meanwhile, I just want you to hear, this is what, what I'm going to be using today. It is my Epiphone Inspired 1955 Les Paul. And I'm just going to use it for the, the clean, you know, I'm just going to use it for the cleaner passages. This is what it sounds like unaffected. Okay, so I'm going to simulate the amp sound, add some little color to it here. Uh, let's see where I'm here. Can't see the light. Ah, there we go. So this is what it sounds like, the straight signal. Now I kind of warmed up a little bit. Just a little bit. Because I wanted to be just clean guitar so the synthesizer will stand out a lot more. So this is kind of like my approach. I just wanted to have some sounds and some textural things in my spare time. And I figured it's the only way to do it. I have dragging out a great big giant keyboard to do it. So, so now I'm going to add a little compression. Compression is very nice. It cleans up. Makes makes make sure everything nice, not so sloppy. Okay, I'm just gonna show you how well this delay tip tape echo uh, the works. It's supposed to emulate something from the 70s, and it's on now. It keeps everything nice and warm, so I definitely like that. So that's cool. I like how that works. And this is very cool because it has modulation on it too. So I like those trails of the modulation. You also have the, the level of it. You have the time of it. You have the mix of it. And then, of course, you got uh, looks like the echo itself. So that's a pretty cool pedal. So the main thing is, I'm just get started with the first thing on the synth, and I'm going to roll through this pretty quickly because I don't want to mess around and be too boring, so I'm already talking too much as it is. So the first thing on this is uh, OBX. I don't understand any of this, what it means, but I'm going to hand it down now. So here we go. This would be a cool effect, and you add like the delays, and then kind of swell in with your volume. That makes it kind of nice on that one. And so I'm not going to go too far with all the special effects I can do, but I'm going to mess around with each one. like how that messes around and gets the delays on that a little bit. So now we're going to go to the next one. 
That was the second one was called the Prophet V. Now this is the Vibe Synth. And it has two controls on it too. Control one is usually for a certain effect. Craziness. <laughs> like I said, I don't understand any of this stuff, but it's fun. All right, we are on the other one called the Mini Nude. You might have heard of that one. I said the delay helps out a lot on that one. So now the next one is going to be the, it's called the EX, no, what is it? EHX Mini. solo synth. I think they have the storage on it, so now we're going to go to the Moog bass. My personal favorite is going to be the string synth, which is what I really primarily bought it for, it's a string synth. I've actually used this in, on my bass guitar uh, in church recently, so I like how it gives me a different sound like that. So that was number eight, the string synth, and now we have the poly, the poly six. Uh, no, yes, yeah, poly six. <laughs> Now, I'm having fun with this right now, so that's why I wanted to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed this little demonstration between the Synth 9, courtesy of Electro Harmonics, and the Caitlin Bread Bell Epoch Tape Echo Delay unit. So, I'm out, guys. I was just having fun because I'm not a teacher, but I like to have fun with my gadgets. So, I hope you enjoyed this little cool video of me just goofing around with my stuff. Laters. And don't forget to check out my link in my bio. I do a podcast in my spare time with a bunch of audio. I have a YouTube channel as well. And find me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Peace. I am out. Enjoy yourself. Have a great weekend.